And from the consumer. Hi. Only products I will use. Only the best. Bobby Garcia said Christine is a good old horror. Christine, I've never heard of that one. I'm trying to remember the other one that I saw with um, Dario Argento. Well, that's the Italian director that makes the really good Italian horror movies with uh, the American actress that's kind of famous. I want to say her name is like Jennifer, uh, not Tilly, but what's the other Jennifer? Not Coolidge. She had like really thick eyebrows and really like big eyes. She was really young. And they shot the movie in Switzerland. Yes. And yesterday they were like, don't tell anybody we can see the new item. <laughs> you can feel that crunk there, Nicole. Oh, I can. But look at that shape, children. Oof, she is snatched. Sarah Salibi said, are you Italian? I am not. Where are you from? I always, where, where are you from? I always hear you speak a different language. Ciao tutti! Parla italiano! <laughs> I do like 70s Italian music, but man, they made some good sounds. 70s Italian music? Yeah. Oh, wow. You're very versatile, Mac. I know. I know a little bit of everything. There's this really famous Italian singer. Well, she wasn't even really Italian. She was um, half Mexican, half white. Her dad was... Um, I want to say his last... His last name was Powers, but I can't remember what his... Tyrone! Tyrone Powers, uh huh. Her dad was Tyrone Powers, and her name was Romina Power. And she married this guy named Albano, and huge in Italy in like the 70s and 80s. They had a whole bunch of really good songs. Oh, wow. So I like some of that kind of music. Liz Ross said, Saludos de Puerto Rico. Hi from Puerto Rico, un beso. And then they got divorced, and she lives in Sedona. Oh, okay. So I was like, oh, maybe we should go visit her when I went to Sedona. <laughs> Let's go look up Romina Power. But I don't like Sedona, to be honest. I, thought, I think it's a really boring city. Really? Yeah. And my birthday was in the summer of last year, so I mean, there wasn't really that many places we could go. Uh, yeah. It's kind of like here. I don't like what's going on either. Sedona's tiny. It's just like one street. You're kidding. Mm -mm. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that much. I thought it was way bigger than that. No, Sedona's tiny. Oh, Freddy Krueger's pretty good. I mean, it's okay. Now, I think now it's kind of like funny, especially I heard like the later ones are like more on the funny side. Mm -hmm. Just the first one was supposed to be kind of scary, but all the other ones are like more comedic. Uh. And uh, for our Halloween party, we took our team to go see uh, the original one at the movie theater. Oh yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. It was okay. It was the original, the first one? Yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street. But I heard all the other ones were like funny, like on purpose. So wait, you've only seen the first one? Yeah, and I've seen the first one and I've seen... What was the other one I saw? Uh, the remake. The remake was terrible, it was a long time ago. Did you see like Freddy vs. Jason? Yeah, I've seen that too. What about like Halloween movies? Um, like Michael Myers? I remember seeing all of them. I'm going to bake this for one minute now. You know when like um, TBS or one of those channels has like specials, like yeah. Halloween Marathon or something like that? Yeah. I think I saw all of them in one day. Oh, you're kidding. No, I swear. That? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, you can feel the crunk, Nicole? A little bit. Okay, there we go. We're going to put the lamp at 99 seconds so that way she can not feel the crunk. <laughs> Let's not forget to like and share this video, you guys. Post it in your favorite nail group. Let's get that giveaway at the end of the video. Yes. Yes, they are. They all come to the edge, right? I almost pretty much.
Yeah, yeah we have a two key that you can use as well too. Jennifer Conley was in the movie called Phenomena, Phenomenon, in Italian, yeah. but the English name was Creeps. Uh -huh. It's really good. Uh, opera is really good. Uh, Inferno. She was really pretty um, when she was young. Like there were some actresses like back in the day were so pretty when they were really young and then they didn't age very well. Like Brooke Shields, I want to say. Oh my god, we're so close! <laughs> Jennifer Connelly. Ruth Cashpool, Hi, Hi, thanks for watching us today. We're gonna get a 150 Fantastic file. Oh, I think it's a Stephen King um, movie, like a Stephen King thing. It sounds like it. Lisa Sheena said she was in the labyrinth with David Bowie. Yeah, she was. I can't picture her face, but I, I hear her name and I know who she is. Big eyebrows. She was fair skinned. Um, Star Yeah. Look at that shape, you guys. It is just snatched. How do they feel, Nicole? Mm -hmm. You feel like you're ready to take over those angles? <laughs> That's right. They know where I'm headed now huh. today. <laughs> so those sides are nice and straight for the girls. Liking that video. I think I I didn't get a notification from a film. Oh, no, a film other people didn't either. That's why. Really? A little bit lower. Yeah, I had to go and search you. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. <laughs> Instagram's going through the gate. Oh no, it's Facebook. <laughs> same thing. Aren't they owned by the same company? I, yeah. I think so, right? Yeah. Tracy Bernard. It looks fantastic and beautiful. Wow. I'm gonna use the pink. Wand, pink magic wand. Thank you, Tracy, for sharing. Blend her in a little bit. Thank you for sharing, Maria. And you gotta stay till the end of the video to see who the winner is if we get there. Yeah, I'm going to Disneyland. Yeah. I already booked my hotel. I'm staying at the JW Marriott. How long are you going? I leave Thursday and I come back Monday morning. I want to come back Sunday, but Wendy was like, Wendy said she was going, and then I spoke to her yesterday. And she was like, oh, I haven't spoke to my son yet. And I was like, Wendy, I don't want to stay till Monday. I might as well have flown home on, flown home on Sunday. Are you just like the type of like, just go get it done and get out of there? <laughs> kind of, because I mean, there's really not that much to see in Southern California. What about shopping? I don't have anything to buy. I need to save money, Nicole. I got a big project that I'm working on. Huge. Really? Five million dollar project that I'm working on. Oh, you kidding. No. That's a good thing. You have to, you have to spend your time wisely. I gotta save my pennies. <laughs> Look at that cuticle, it is so blended, it's disgusting. Mary said that this is the next shape I want to buy, so I'm very happy to be seeing this. You're gonna love it. Buenas noches, Maryland. 
Hi from Maryland. I've never been there, have you? I think so. I think I'm calling in the middle of the live. Estoy grabando, ma. Estoy grabando! Tracy said a nail shop wrecked my nails and now they break all the time. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's hard to recover. You gotta let your hands. You, you have to get into the right hand. That's an exciting ringtone. <laughs> and Tony's here. Hi. I was wondering when you were going to pop in. Tony. Better late than pregnant. <laughs> I think that was like from that show about the old ladies. What was it called? Golden, Golden Girls? Golden Girls. <laughs> I've never seen that, but I, I heard some people love it. Have you never seen Golden Girls? Mm -hmm. I have a job of Golden Girls. Pajamas. Really? Yeah. Are they really funny? Yeah. With Betty White? Anyway, she dead already? No, she's like 90 or she like a mummy. <laughs> she doesn't look bad. Really? Again, back in with the diamond prep. Tracy said, I love your voices. Thank you. Antonia said, doing nails but got distracted. <laughs> Andrea said, any products for people allergic to Hema? Uh, all of our products are Hema free. So, but the biggest thing is you have to have other product contact with your skin. So if you're getting product on your skin, no matter what it is, you could have an allergic reaction. Everybody reacts differently to it too. So be really diligent and be really careful and always leave a tiny little uh, space at the back of your nail. So that way you don't get product too close to the skin, okay? That's gonna help a lot. And I also would recommend maybe taking like a Benadryl or something like that prior to... Um, just for bed. Yeah, like an hour or so before, just to make sure it's in your system and everything. Like, they did the show without her. Like, they, they, yeah, no, 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 yeah. no. You need Roseanne Barr. Yeah. Maria Pano said, What drill tip do you use to blend it? Oh, I just use them right now. I used three different ones to get a really flawless, seamless, cuticle area. Very much. Betty White is immortal. You're like, She's never di <laughs> gonna die. Her and Cher. <laughs> Still making music. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Antonia said, "Good lord, I have got to get you. I have got to get to you and give you culture." <laughs> <laughs> Danielle Clark said, "The Golden Girls are the OGs of the clap back." You really? Back. Oh yeah. I know, like they have kind of like a cult following, right? Yeah, <laughs> a cult following. Mm -hmm. Honey Lane said, I love the Golden Girls. And Brown said, I want to get your nails so bad. Enalcouture.com, Mama. Antonia says, Max's Moscow Foil and Twinkle Story Volume 1 in black. Ooh. Tracy Bernard said, They were awfully funny, similar to Roseanne. Really? So they were like very like blue collar humor? Mm -hmm. Antonia said, No, you don't. The Connors is actually not that bad without her. I actually haven't seen, I watched it before they hit ended it with her. And then, and they, then I didn't pick up watching it after. They, um, what is it? They, uh... Killed her off? Yeah, something like that. I did watch Sex and the City, though. You did? I, I love, love Sex and the City. I feel like it never gets old, either. Like, it comes on at, like, three in the morning. And I think she's so pretty in an ugly way. Serious partner? Yeah. yeah nice. She's not pretty, but her oh, character is so... And of course the styling too. Because Sarah Jessica Parker is like me, she wears really expensive things. Oh yeah. So like if you take away all those things, it's just it's not Sarah Jessica Parker. I think mean, you're right. And it's like me. It you take away everything and it's not me. <laughs> Andrea Nicole said awesome, thank you so much. I've invested so much money into doing it into doing my own. I have felt raw, but refused to lose. So thank you very much. PS. 
love some medium square nails. I purchased some medium time in Mesa, Arizona, so we're very excited to find local. Awesome, thank you. I'm not in England. I am in Arizona. But I have been to England though. I like it. I like their sense of humor. <laughs> it's different, like. Yeah, for sure. It's very like it's like my sense of humor a little bit. Russian sense of humor is like mine too. It's very I don't wanna say some people say dry, but it's also very like um, a little tongue in cheek. A little um, double meaning, sometimes a little dark. I like that. Yeah, it's a British sense of humor. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of hard to find. Them. Really? Because like everything is offensive. Everything is bad. And if you're in the UK, then, then they're all there. So that's good. <laughs> Arlene said that shape is so gorgeous. Isn't it snatched? I'm not in California. Uh, Mary Simpson said, if you like her humor, you should definitely come to, to Oz, Australia? Australians have a funny sense of humor too. Really? But they're a little bit more, um, I don't want to say crude, but they're a little bit more raw, if you will, with their sense of humor. But they also have a really good sense of humor too. So this is gel polish 14. You know, like for example, England is, well not England, the whole United Kingdom is such a small country. And that. they have so many different accents. And like America is so big and I don't think we have that many accents. And I know Australia doesn't have that many accents either. Like everybody, I wouldn't say like sounds similar. the same. Yeah, but they all have kind of like the same tone. Not tone, but the same accent. I think here we kind of have like regional accents, but not like, like in England where you know, you just cross the street and people talk completely different. Yeah. Jordy has a good accent. Scouse is my favorite though. Irish is really good too. And they love potatoes in Ireland. Really? Yeah, there's a theme park called Tato Land. Oh yeah, you told me that. Oh my goodness. And their mascot is Mr. Tato. Really? Yeah, Mr. Tato. Look at that cuticle though, look at that cuticle, it is I just flawless. Yeah. Let's bake that, 30 seconds. We're gonna add some Space Galaxy Kitty, let's do... Oh, thank you. Mary said, love that color. And Tracy said, I love potatoes. Potatoes. And they have chocolate potatoes. Yeah, a, cho uh, a chocolate bar with Tato in it, with Mr. Tato. Mr. Tato, have you ever tasted that? No. And they don't call them, they don't call them potato chips, they call them crisps. Oh yeah, I remember saying that. Oh, and then they have another flavor too, um, prawn, which is shrimp, mm -hmm. and salt and vinegar. Mm. They love their salt and vinegar potatoes. So I'm gonna do a little Space Galaxy Kitty on top for the fantasy. Ruth said, I'm in Gloucester, Jersey, okay? Mm -hmm. It is funny how we all sound different only an hour away. For reals. Jenna Crossy said, is that pink the color of the month one? If so, I had it. Let's I think so, yes. <laughs> Tracy said, Chris. <laughs> Chris. Uh, Maria said, beautiful pink color. So you don't do the color of the month anymore? No. We only did that like 
two or three months, and that was maybe five years ago. It didn't catch. So let's activate it. Shrimp. Look how cool that is. Oh my gosh. Are they Barbie pink too? Oh, they're reddish. Cat eye in them too? sure why they call it prawn. It's funny. I don't know if you care for him, but like Kenneth Hart mm -hmm. had a sit down with somebody from the UK and like they went back and forth on like what words they say compared to what we say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he was like, I don't, like, we just don't understand why they, so cool that is. Why they up my dear? have certain uh, words. words. What's another word that they sell a lot too? In Australia, like for example, they call a girl a Sheila. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like just in general? Arvo. An Arvo. Arvo is the afternoon. Whoops. A Sambo is a sandwich. Huh. I don't know. I can't remember what Australians call a fanny though. But you know, we a uh, fanny is a bum for us, mm -hmm. like a like a butt. Mm -hmm. They call it something else. I can't remember. Where she did your nails. She did my nails? Are you talking to me? Or I don't know who you're talking to. Exactly. Oh, what words do you want me to, to write on your nail, Nicole? No, that's where I was, I was kind of. Should I write your name? Sure. So let's write Nicole. Or you could write Nikki. Okay. N I C K I. I see the letters, but I don't know what's right. I'm just going to write a story on my nails. <laughs> In the beginning. <laughs> Mary Hudson said that they call them prawns too. Yeah. What well, in the UK? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's the shrimp's cousin. Bigger? Is that what she said? Is yeah. Shannon said, hey mate, I love how they say that. Hi, is it I? Is it A? In Australia? Yeah. Hello, mate. <laughs> yeah, I love that. What else do they say in Australia? Oh, shrimp on the Barbie. <laughs> And um, they call flip flops thongs. Oh, really? Mm hmm. That's funny. So, people that don't know when they spoke with somebody, they definitely wouldn't fully understand what they're saying, I guess. Correct. And Brown said, Have you ever been to Scranton, Pennsylvania? You like old movies? They always came to Scranton. No, what's in Scranton, Pennsylvania? I don't like like super old movies, like old musicals from like a hundred years. <laughs> Antonio was telling her that you're that you are famous, and she probably saw you on Susie. On YouTube. I am not famous. <laughs> no, you don't think so. Then? No. I think she's being very right now. Lena's famous. <laughs> Lena the Stallion. His mom is the only one who has done his nails, I think. That last eye looks a little different, doesn't it? It's a capital I. Do you want me to switch it out? Uh, can you tell it's an I? Not really. No? Let's switch but, it out then. But can you change this? What? But then I don't know if it would fit. The K? Yeah, to like a C-K-I. Oh! <laughs> is that how you spell your name with a C? Oh, okay. Antonio said, your mom's the only one that, has, that you've done nails on, What was the question? She was letting the girls know that um, the only other person you've probably really done your nails, done nails on is your mom. I think in the video, Susie did my nails, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, I can't remember. I think she painted them. How, how long has it been since you've been on? Her channel? Yeah. Uh, at least over a year, yeah. Do you talk to her? Mm-hmm, I talked to her this week. 
But uh, I don't think she's having people on her channel, like, in person. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, because of what's going on? Or... Mm-hmm. Okay. And her husband's, like, really, like, about the virus. Yeah. Is she in Canada? Yeah. Mary said, no, all sizes are called prawn here. Okay. Shannon said, I watch Australians make candy here on Facebook, and the owner, Dave, has an amazing accent. They are located on the rocks in Sydney. I need another black uh, okay, I'm go through my world of stickers. Because I have so many. Yummy. Hi from Perth. Hi from Perth. That's on the other side of Australia. That's Western Australia. Lena, can you do me a favor? Can you get me the black old E letters, the small one? The old E letters, the black ones. I just need the small one. This one. I need an I. Please. Are you gonna do these ones? Yes. I'll probably put that on your pinky or on your thumb. Or on the rainbow ones too. Tracy said, you are famous. Yes, it was Susan's nails. I told you, I watched it. Oh. said, she had Grant and her daughter, I think. On, are you meaning recently, Antonio? I know Susie was like, no, her, uh, her husband doesn't want anybody like going into their house or anything like that. Thank you. But I don't watch her show her videos like regularly. So I don't know. Maybe. Mary says Susie hasn't had anyone on her channel. I watch her. Her her channel is more it's a lot of beginner stuff, so I don't watch it that much. Oh, okay. Ashley says, L O L, your desk drawers look like my Mac. Everything coming out of them, LOL. <laughs> There we go. Nikki. Put a little butterfly on there. Isn't that cute? Put some butterflies on there. Oh, sorry. Just knock everything over. Oh, sorry. Oh. Add some hologram butterflies. Yes, I have. It's been a while though. I used to have a distributor out there, but it's been ages since I've been to Scotland. How was it? I, I, I feel like it'd be like really green and like... I remember it being very hilly mm -hmm. and green, but also like you would get all four seasons in one day. Oh, like really? it would be really cold and then really hot and then it would like snow oh, and then it would wow. rain. Yeah, it was wild in Scotland. And then they have a really hard accent to understand. I was like, what? <laughs> Is this English? <laughs> but everybody was so friendly. Tracy said, I love your look. I love your look, hair. I, I lo love your hair, I guess. You're so handsome, you know. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. <laughs> Shannon Crosser said, you spelled my name wrong, Max. Where? <laughs> she said, you spelled my name wrong. No, that's how she wanted it spelled. No, because it's supposed to be K. You said, you said a C. And I see K, I. Oh. <laughs> that's, what I was, that's what I was saying. I don't know if it'll fit. Well, it could have, but I thought you said it's not. Can you take the K off and put a C? Because it goes before. That's why. Oh. <laughs> well, no, not anymore. I'm sorry. What if we just put Nick? <laughs> I don't know if the K would fit. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if it'll fit. On now. Now on. it's done. Shannon said, sorry, oh no, Rachel said the OCD was killing her, with the letters. Would it fit? It can only fit nicks on her nails. <laughs> yeah, you can put the K like that. That's fine. On top of the butterfly, but it still looks fine.
It looks like a new letter though. What do you think? Because it adds on to the... To the eye. Unless I put it lower. I could put it like down here. No? Maybe. Well, just because I don't know if it would go with the eye then. No. Let's just take it off then. I'm sorry. That's okay. I, I didn't want to say anything just because I know it was a lot. It was a lot to fit. So then what we have to do is... It seemed to be this uh, difficult today, guys. Sorry. Let me get a Lux brush vibe. Before we do that, let me take off the sticky layer on the pink. So that way the dust won't get on there. And then we're gonna remove the dust. The, whoops. Put the smoothie buffer. Let's just buff everything off. Flex your fingers. There you go. There we go. Troubleshooting 101. <laughs> I think that's better. <laughs> Can everybody see what it says? Jeez, Nicole, you're so naughty. Tracy said, how much is it over there for that? That just depends on, on yourself. On what? Your, no, to me, she means for the word. Landies or what's yeah. she talking about? I'm assuming which means like for the set. How much is it over there for that? A million dollars. <laughs> Dorinda said hi, Matt. Hi. Yes, Antonia. All depends on your area. Mary Hudson said, mm, my partner is cooking me yummy vegan breakfast. Mmm, fun. Junior prom is today, so last night I did her and three friends' nails with your product. It took me six hours, so. Oh, well, yep. <laughs> three people. Back Are they the all back. snatched? That's awesome, though. That they have to look really good for prom, right? Is it an in person prom? Yeah, I love that. That's a good question, because I've been seeing lately a lot of like graduation pictures or prom pictures. Mm -hmm. I know there's going to be gatherings. So. Where are you from, Shannon? Ashley said, base, base your price on how much you value your work and time. And the time you spent to yes. Yeah. Mary said, I like that better. Shannon said, in person prom, and they love their nails. Well, that's awesome. Where are the black stars? Long sculpted stiletto. Uh, I bought the neon pink color from yesterday's live. Any pointers for making it look jelly and not pulpy? Just one coat is all you need. <laughs> we have to get to 150 views so that we, the winner today is going to get a bottle of um, product autographed by Nicole Rodriguez, which I think is worth a million dollars. Awesome. 
awesome. Thank you. Big shout out to Port Stevens, Australia. Have you ever been there, Nicole? I have not. Not yet. Not yet. On the bucket list. So close, I can taste it. Tracy said, wow, that's so cool and beautiful. And a beautiful gift. Angelie said, gorgeous. And Misty said, where are you like coming from? Disneyland. <laughs> the happiest place. In... <laughs> the West Coast? Yeah, because we're not at Disney World, we're at Disneyland. Yeah. <laughs> Correct, yeah. And I don't recommend filling long sets. I recommend only filling short sets. Ashley said, LOL, I certainly started something with I certainly started something with sign giveaways a couple of years ago, LOL. Wendy said beautiful. Bomb.com. It's just unique spelling of your name. That's why they spell it correctly. I can dig it, said Nicole. Mary Hudson says, Is it okay to fill long sets if you trim them? Um, I would probably just take everything off and do a fresh set. And I think you would have a better looking nail as well, too, at the end. Yeah, it's like in a week and a half. I can't believe it. It's so soon. Who did you see you're going with? My, both of my parents are going with me to California. I'm gonna, we're going to take my dad to go see his um, other children. Okay. That's nice. Mm -hmm. So your siblings. Huh? <laughs> what siblings? Your siblings. <laughs> you hang out with no, I don't. They, they're all like fighting with each other. I don't know. <laughs> they have a lot of drama between them. I'm not sure. Yeah, I really didn't grow up with them either. They're older than you, right? Like a lot older, like they're in their 50s. Oh, really? Or 40s, yeah. My dad's a great grandfather. Oh, wow. Shannon said, oh shoot, I didn't want to miss this live, so I sent my hubby to voicemail. Oh. <laughs> Rachel Marie said, BRB sharing and buying some stickers. That's how we roll. I'm gonna make that promo code only valid on avocados. <laughs> they look so cute, Nicole! Oh my gosh, look how pretty they look. Pretty. Are you living? I am. Are you living the Barbie fantasy? I am. Making it all oh, right? That's such a pretty Barbie piece, isn't yeah. it? It's giving me like rocker Barbie vibes, though. Like, punk rock princess. It's more like bad Barbie. <laughs> bad Barbie, exactly. Tracy said, how do you get your nails to shine? Witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> said, why did you remove the piggy layer on the painted nail? So that way I can put the sticker on it. You can't put a sticker on top of a nail that has oxygen inhibition layer on it. It will just not work. Wendy says, see you at 
Universal Studios. That's, you better, Wendy. <laughs> Is it more like Jim in the hologram? But like the bad version of it. The baddie version. <laughs> she likes your answer better. Bad Barbie. Bad Barbie. She's still in it. I like how Antonia calls the pink army, she calls it something else. <laughs> Does she? Yes, ask her what she calls the pink army. What's the pink army to you, Antonia? <laughs> Ashley said, 80s colored nails are definitely in right now, lol. In my area. Shelly said, very cute. Tracy said, over here they don't take care of, of the nails like you do. They don't snatch it. Mary Hudson said, breaky? Breaky? Is it ready? Breaky. Breakfast. That's what they call breakfast in Australia. Breaky? Breaky. I think in Canada they also call it like that too. Really? Mm-hmm. Breaky is ready. <laughs> Antonia said, what do you mean? She <laughs> calls it something else. She's like, the bar bad something. I can't say those words. <laughs> I can only put them on nails. Elizabeth said, what is the cat eye color you use? 17 today. Diana said, are the white tip nails pink or nude? They are in between both. So a little bit of both. Ashley said, yeah, I call it Brecky. Brecky. Which one? Oh, 17? 17, yeah. Tracy said, we say brekkie and breakfast. Lachelle said, are these press on or acrylic? These are neither. They are pre-made full coverage gel nails. For the girls. For the children. Whoops. For the revolution. I don't know if I'm saying this right or if she spelled it incorrectly. Tracy said, dinner is looch. Where? confusing what? and I remember being in Canada too and they would say supper a lot too but no I don't I don't necessarily like I I think it's different per area too because I don't remember everybody saying oh it's dinner time or something like that because I would be like confused for days can you imagine You're like it's dinner I'm like what what time is it <laughs> it's too early You're like, We're not gonna eat up this? Is make it count <laughs> Lachelle said Lachelle said love them on they are no joke. Brecky dinner and tea. So does this mean you have tea at dinner? Ooh, Nicole, should we put one of the girls on there? Okay. Which one do you like? The pink, the pink haired one? Mm -hmm. Or which other one do you like? Because on the other hand, we have to do one too. Yeah. So which one do you want on the thumb? Which one do you like the least? Oh, that one. That one? Okay. Tracy said, supper is after tea late. Supper is after? So there's more things? <laughs> so it's like not like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's more things? It's breaky dinner tea. Brecky, dinner, and that's a lot of eating <laughs> in one day. Sophie said, 
supper is after eating good news. Ashley said, yep, supper time, haha. You would do well living in Canada, Max. That was so strange when I would hear people say, oh, it's supper time. I'm like, huh? Yeah, because I would think dinner. Yeah, and nobody really says supper either. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Danielle said, I just received my new sticker. It's saying that we just do my new Aren't they everything? Michelle said, I have to order every shape in, in size and size in full cover gel. They're the best. They are the revolution. Okay. It is the way of the future. Tracy said, instead of three meals, it's four. Just don't stop eating so, Canada. <laughs> Crumpets? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Is this like a snack, basically? Yeah, kind of like a light lunch or something. Oh. But not everybody takes it though, too. Okay. Rachel, Rachel said, do the foil kits come in a case? Yes, they do. <laughs> and Tony said, don't forget 11 to the after supper dinner. <laughs> In Sweden, they call snacking fika. Fika? Fika, and they would snack all day. Like, oh, got a fika time. Like, any time is time for fika. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Tracy said, Tony, you and Vegemite? I do love Vegemite, though. A lot of people don't like it, I don't know why, but they don't know how to eat it properly. It's so good. What is it called over there? Vegemite, it's, um, it's like a spread, but it's very like salty and savory. So if you don't like something that's salty or savory, you wouldn't like it. No. It kind of tastes between like beef bouillon and soy sauce. Is that better describe it? What? Beef bouillon. Uh huh. Oh, do you mean like really salty? Yeah, like beef bouillon and soy sauce is the best way to describe what it tastes like. Really? Yeah, but it's so good on on toast with butter. Oh. Okay. So good. You're like, do you put it in soup? <laughs> Good. Good. Said, oh, gee, those moons. Ashley It's okay. I think it's a little overrated. Yeah, same. It's a very California thing though, don't you think? Like very healthy. Yeah. Colleen said Marmite in England. Marmite is not as good. Marmite is really salty. Oh, it's kind of the same? Yeah, but it's not good. Yeah. And then in New Zealand, they have this thing called spaghetti toast. And I was like, oh, it must be like spaghetti on toast. And I was like, that actually sounds pretty good. And it's not. It's gross. Don't come for me people from New Zealand. My kiwis. But I did not care for spaghetti on toast. What was it? It's like, it's, it's not like even sauce? spaghetti. No. Is it like the sauce spaghetti? It's like a can of SpaghettiOs dumped on top of like a piece of Wonder Bread. <laughs> it is gross. Uh, just type in sticker. <laughs> Really? I like peanut butter and butter. Yeah, like first butter on the bread and then peanut butter. It just makes it more savory, more delicious. Like spreaded out butter or like like you're supposed to hotly, I don't know. Like spread. I think this is how like take your like how like how do you put the butter? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, correct. Just a little bit. What? And then uh, after you put the butter on and she melts into the into the bread, the bread absorbs with it a little bit of peanut butter. But I haven't had that kind of meal in a really long time, though, too, to be honest. But that is kind of like a kid kind of food. Yeah, in the microwave. Yeah. Partying. Let's do the thumbnail. Tracy said, I've, I've had, hold on, I used to eat Weta Pix and butter and bit of sugar on top. Weta Pix? What's that? Yeah. Rachel said, peanut butter and maple syrup. Rosie said, I love salt on my peanut butter cup. Ooh, never had it like that. Like a salty salt. Salted peanut butter. Rock candy. Do you like regular peanut butter or like crunchy peanut butter? Um, indifferent. Okay. I'm not that big of a peanut butter person. What about you? No, it's like an every now and then. Yeah. I always get those um, uncrustable now. Freezer aisle with peanut butter and jelly in them. What are they? Uncrustable. What's that? It's like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but they're just they're frozen. Basically. Really? Already pre-made? Yeah. Wow. They're, like, they're in a circle and they don't have the crust on them. So yeah, I don't know. But is they're that, good. That's the future From now? Yeah, it's really good. It's the future of peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> it's been going on for a long time. Max, where have you been? I guess I don't eat that much peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> it's just nice when it's... Already pre-made. Like, it's like a, when you're in a rush or you see something quick. That's they're like, here. Here's your... <laughs> Here's your peanut butter. Bon Antonia said, Joe pickles and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Look how pretty that is. That's really pretty. I've heard about people with pickles and peanut butter and stuff like that. I don't know. If I That's don't a bit to, extreme. Yeah, I don't know if I don't really want to try that. Banana and mayo sandwiches. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to pass on that one. <laughs> That sounds like something Elvis. No, Elvis likes fried banana and peanut butter sandwiches. But that doesn't sound bad. It doesn't. And if it was good <laughs> enough for Elvis Presley. You know what's really not good? What? It's just silly because we just tried it out of nowhere. Honey and banana. Really? Yeah, it's like it's such a weird consistency together. It's just not good at all. She don't work. Crazy. The bread and butter pudding. I do like that. Ashley said, Oh, it's she, Antonio, why? <laughs> like, I just, is this, I don't know if people just end up trying things and they're like, oh, okay, this tastes good, or if this, like, gets passed down. Like, generation to generation. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like something you would eat while you're pregnant. Yeah. Like something. Yeah, definitely. That you're like, oh. Can put this together? Yes. <laughs> Emma said, hi from Ireland. Did you hi. ever get Milky Bars? I did. What is that? It's uh, like, a, like, it's white chocolate. I love Ooh. white chocolate. And they're so good. I love me a good Milky Bar. And they said I kind of resemble the Milky Bar boy. <laughs> really? Yeah, because he's blonde. It's just like, a, it's just white chocolate? Yeah, it's like a white chocolate. It almost tastes like, you know the Hershey's cookies and cream? Yeah. Like that, minus the cookies. It's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. I'm you, said, because it's so good. Just like fried bologna and cheese sandwiches. I could see that. Emma, we get milky bars here in Australia. Ashley said, I think you and I would have sandwich, sandwich arguments, Antonia. <laughs> Tracy said, I love your name, Max. Like a dog. Is that what you think? Yeah, that's the most common name for uh, dogs. Is it really? Yeah. I like it. <laughs> but you know what's funny? I did have a dog named Max. Really? 
told you. Goodness, we're proving to you that's not how <laughs> Antonia said, you guys just don't know how good food. You guys just don't know good food. <laughs> I watched a TikTok with this girl that she was trying different things and somebody told her to try peanut butter on a green bell pepper. And she was like, this is disgusting. Why? I don't know. I, I would have said no. Right? I would have said okay after you. <laughs> Rachel said, when you don't feel good, drinking pickle juice makes you feel better. It's the sodium and electrolytes in it. Man, you're going to get really swollen, though. Jeez. Yeah, electrolytes in pickle juice? I guess. But, man, you're going to be really swollen. Like, you're like, how come none of my jeans fit? <laughs> Colleen, she was talking about the bacon being different than the needle. Oh. Oh, they like baked beans a lot there, too. Really? Yeah. White rice and a sunny side up in Oh yeah, I've had that all the time. That's very common in Asia. Antonia, pickle juice is amazing. Ooh. I used to like, with like the mm. but... Too much sodium for me. I could see that. It's like a Greek yogurt kind of. Yeah. Compared to the to what is it? Tomato and what was it that? Oh. No, the the sandwich that Antonio likes. <laughs> she likes uh, banana and mayo sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> Garcia said, wow, Max, the email to turn nail clippers are exceptional quality. That's how we roll. Mary said, I'm glad I already had supper. Does that mean, but, like, she has stuff with you, like, is that your dinner? Or lunch. Like, are you going to eat later? <laughs> Rachel said, I eat weird things, but that's a hard task. <laughs> okay, let's bake this. One, 30 seconds. Magical fruit. <laughs> the more you eat, <laughs> the more you eat already. <laughs> Tracy shared. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Tracy. Where is my pink? Tommy said they eat baked beans for breakfast and dinner. I was like, ew. Yeah, they love their baked beans. Yes, I don't mind it. Um, it's blood sausage. Look how cool that is, Nicole. I love that. I love that. Really so, this is summer tints and then bright pink. Just for the fantasy. I love that. Look at that, you guys. It really changes it up. Should we do it on the middle finger too? Yeah. Why not, right, Nicole? For the fantasy. <laughs> Cut up with hot milk on top. Okay, let's bake it. 30 seconds. Upside down? No, just normal. Because it's clear, so it'll go through. Okay. The grilled tomato bacon and cheese sandwich is the way to go. That just sounds like. Interesting. Yeah. Tracy said, Max, my whip it crossed over him. He was such a sweetie. Oh, <laughs> God, you could kick dog too. Yeah. Amanda said he's probably using Christmas glitter to bottom chicks. It's a bottom chick. Knew. Gotta gotta stay strong with bottom chicks. Yeah, right. Speaking of bottom chicks, they had um, Hustle and Flow on, I think it was TV. Uh-huh. I was like, oh maybe you should watch me some Hustle and Flow. I haven't seen that in a while. 
Because I'm the rapper and you're the blonde girl. Really? Yeah. Teresa, thank you. are so welcome, Max. Madison, I didn't even know you were on stupid Facebook. I know, it didn't alert me either. I had to search for him. Facebook. That's some pizza in right now, guys. Amy said, Max, love you. I love you too. Rachel said, I can hear packages being made in the back. You get some excited. Oh, she's like, one of those is mine. Wonder Gel right now to steal the philanthropy. Tracy said, I would love to send you a picture of Max. <laughs> Aww. A picture of Max to Max. Yeah, it is funny because, well, in my opinion, I can't. Because like, my Max sucks. She was one of the best songs I ever had. Really? Yeah. He was a bottom chick. that 30 seconds because I'm going to do a little bit of uh, clear on the inside of just those uh, three. Is it similar to like your inks? No, it's a transparent jelly color. So inks are ink, so they're for design work. This is more just to give you that crystal kind of Power Ranger Zeo crystal look. Okay, it's, it's transparent? Yes, correct. Go, go, go. Were you a fan of the Power Rangers before? Really? Who was your favorite? Of course, the Kimberly. Kimberly. Of course. <laughs> Amy Joe Johnson. Let us put a little bit of Wonder Girl on the end of the field. She was a bottom chick. And now that I look I like back on it, <laughs> this show was made so cheaply too. Oh, I know. And we were also into it. <laughs> they used to pay him $500 a week. Really? Something like that, or like a yeah, really, really low. Oh wow! But too back then, it was probably a I lot. Mean, yeah, in the 90s. Okay, let's pick that. Okay, One minute. Don't... No, just normal. One minute. That's why they kept changing Power Rangers all the time. Oh, really? Because they're like, well, we want more money. And they're like, okay, next. They were in Barney? Yeah! Really? That was so blown away. Yes! I didn't know that they started it. Yeah. Well, poor Demi Lovato. She's got a lot of issues. Did you watch the documentary? No. no? You can just look at her and tell her that really? she's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> poor Demi Lovato. Like, I wasn't a huge fan, but I definitely watched the documentary. <laughs> and I think she also had, like, she, either she didn't have good people around her or she needed good people. Like, where were her parents? True, but counting I mean, her money. She even had like a. I think she even had like a. Like a some bright comparison or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like, that like travel, travels with her. But she still kind of did whatever she wants. Well, yeah. I guess, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. video where I used it. I have over 10,000 videos, you guys. I can't believe it. I already hit 10,000 posts on Instagram. That's crazy. That's 10,000 different pictures. Wow. Tracy, I used to call Max 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 Max
TikTok Max Doodles. <laughs> Max Doodles. Been binge watch Max videos. What? The sounds of oh, of the fantasy. She's still around too, Amy Jo Johnson. Really? Mm -hmm. She's like 50 now. Oh wow. Yeah, because they like to watch videos about um, like where they are now and things like that. And she left the show um, because uh, somebody broke into her house through her window and tried to rape her. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, that's how much people loved her. That's how much of a bottom chick she was. You know what I heard that was really funny? Um, I don't know if you ever got into Twilight, but the guy that plays Edward, I don't know his name. I think what his name Brock, Robert Pattinson. Uh -huh. He said that he had some stalker that showed up at his house and was sitting outside on the curb like waiting for him uh -huh. and like it kept happening so he took her out he's like okay well you know let's go out on a date or whatever and the whole time he just complained and, and then she was like okay i don't really like this and then she just <laughs> never never went back again wow <laughs> so you get rid of them guys just complain <laughs> and there we have the fantasy you guys the biatch barbie hologram butterfly fantasy I did not, Lena. I said biatch. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. You guys are tripping. <laughs> well, my love, that's going to wrap it up for today's live demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. I know it'll be hard for some of us. But I will see you guys in the next live video. Bye, everybody.